Hi, my name is Kelsey Evans, and today we'll be doing a mindful recovery series focusing on fire and freedom with working with the digestive system and also heart openers. So please join me in a cross-legged position and draw one hand to your belly and then set the other hand on one knee. We'll be doing a Kriya breath called Kabbalah Bhati. And its intention is developing both your digestive system, but also building heat and fire into your core. The emphasis is going to be on the exhale out through your nose and really quick inhalations in through your nose as well. Begin by closing your eyes. Take a huge breath in through your nose. Then exhale, let it sigh out through your mouth. Beginning Kalabhati breathing now. Quick inhale and begin. Going for five more. In three, two, one, huge inhale in. And exhale out through your mouth. Setting both hands on your knees. Again, focusing on normal yoga breath. Inhales in and exhales out through your nose. Still keeping your eyes closed. Relaxing into both body and breath. Normalizing your breathing so it sounds like the waves of the ocean. Continue with this breath all throughout the class today. And if you, you ever get lost with a move or the flow, draw back to the breath. On your next breath, unblink the eyes and inhale, rise the arms up high. Looking up to the ceiling and then bring your hands back down towards your heart, bowing your head softly down. Coming up with a positive intention that gives both into your freedom and into your fire. So whatever is gonna develop that strong, powerful connection, get you fiery, get you powerful, but also just exhibit such freedom letting go, Find that intention today. So hands towards your heart, develop your intention here, draw back to your breath. Once you have that intention developed, inhale, rise your arms back high, unblink the eyes. Hands back down towards your heart, bring your intention back in. Inhale, reach your arms back high. Hands towards the heart, intention. Last time, inhale, rise. Exhale, hands towards the heart, intention. Last time to bow your head down, repeating that word or phrase that serves you and your higher purpose. Exhale, let it out through your mouth. Inhale, reach the arms back high. And twisting, left hand meets the right knee, looking over your shoulder, stretching your spine. Continue to stay with the left hand down towards your right knee and reach the right arm over the head, palms face down. Getting that nice side body stretch. Gaze can be down or gaze can be up depending upon what feels better on your neck. Taking your top arm down, crossing it over and drop your chin towards your chest. Big breath in and exhale out. Release the arms, take the hands towards the back, open up your heart, big breath. And exhale, forward fold. Walk the hands all the way down. Feel the stretch into your entire spine. So first, just getting the body warmed up, seeing how you're feeling today. Scanning from head to toe here. Noticing tension that you may have in your body, then trying to let that go. Next breath, rise back up. Switch the crossing of the legs. 
Restacking. Gonna inhale, reach the arms high, and take your twist, this time towards the left. So right hand's gonna meet that left knee, really tall spine stretching through. Right hand stays where it is, moving towards your side body stretch. So reaching the left arm over, palm face down. And gaze can be up or gaze can be down, just depending upon your neck. Same thing, crossing your left arm over your right, drop your chin towards your chest. And inhale, unwind the arms, and let's get into our first boat pose. So getting right into it. So you can bend your knees for support or take your hands towards heart center, even using your hands to lift your legs up high. So all about fire and freedom here, chest open, lifted, and core engaged. Big breaths in, hands outstretched. Engaging and still breathing, that's always the hard part, especially when you're starting to do some work. Can you lift your chest a little bit higher? And slowly release the legs, back towards your forward fold. Not staying here for long, just catching your breath after that engagement. Then slowly move into your all fours position, getting settled in, trying to stack the shoulders directly above your wrists and begin some circles here. Feeling into your hips, your wrists, especially after that little bit of core work that you just did. Now bringing some more fluidity in. Because just like a fire, we don't want to let it get out of control. Yes, infernos are good. Yes, building heat is good. But staying in balance. Reverse the circles opposite direction. And you can get as big as you want with this or small. How are you feeling today? Let that flow through your body. Back towards tabletop position, one cat pose, exhale, round. And then inhale, look up high for cow. Exhale, press round, cat pose. Inhale, look up high, really exaggerating these motions. Last time, exhale, press and round. And inhale, cow pose, look up high. Child's pose, press back, allow the knees to go wide, toes kiss together. Coming back into your intention, now that your body's starting to warm up, what's that powerful word or phrase that you developed at the very beginning of this class? Draw back in. Slip the right arm underneath the left arm, just settling your right shoulder blade down. And then switch sides. Left hand slips underneath the right, left cheek towards the floor. Back towards normal child's pose. Moving back into a heart opener. Take your hands wide to hit the outer edge of the mat. And then shift your hip flexors forward, look up high, bend at your knees. Big breath in for swan pose. And exhale, child's pose, press back. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale, shift back forward, swan, stretching your neck up towards the ceiling. And exhale, press back, child's. Last time, inhale, shift, hips drop down, big breath. And exhale, child's pose, press back. Coming into your first downward facing dog, tuck the toes, allows the hips to rise high. Just take a couple pedals out of your feet, bending one knee at a time, see how your hamstrings are feeling. Continue with your breath. Any shaking of the head side to side. And taking a lion's breath here, letting out a little bit of heat since we're starting to build. Inhale, big breath in. And exhale, sigh through your mouth. <sighs> Drop back down into tabletop. Take your right leg long, square off your hips, dial your right hip down towards the floor, 
Then reach your left arm forward. So opposite leg and opposite arm. Really activate here. So again, building your heat. Drawing in on your exhale, connect everything together. Then inhale, reach out long. Exhale in. Inhale, reach. Last time, exhale, round. In, inhale, reach. Switch sides. Seeing how everything feels on this side. Left leg back. Engage your back leg, engage your arm. Maybe lift a little bit higher. Then exhale in towards your belly. Inhale, reach out. Exhale in. Connect. Reach out. Last time, exhale. And inhale, reach. Back towards tabletop position. Inhale, look up high, cow pose. And exhale, downward facing dog, come back. Another lion's breath, inhale. And exhale, sigh out, mouth. Take your hands, unplug them towards the back of your mat to meet your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, forward fold. Again, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Last time, halfway lift. This time, engaging your core some more. Reach your arms back, palms face down. Maybe a slight bend at the knees to make your back happy. Then inhale, rise up to Dasana. Reach high, hands towards the heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, look forward. And walk back out towards your plank pose. So I think this is every yogi's favorite position, right? Is plank. Your core is definitely on. So shift a little bit forward. See if you can shift more forward so that your shoulders are stacked right above your wrists. Engage your core, engage your fire, keep breathing. Maybe shift forward, shift back. Especially if you wanna get more into your wrists, get more into the bottoms of your feet. If you're looking for some extra, raise one leg getting fancy, and then switch sides if you've taken the leg option. Back towards normal plank, press back down dog. Take your right leg high, lift it up, square off your hips, very similar to that tabletop position. So flex more at your foot to feel that full engagement. It actually helps you connect more towards your core. Draw knee in towards your nose, connect on your exhale. Inhale, kick back high. Exhale to your nose. Inhale, kick back high. Last time towards your nose. Inhale, kick back high. Step forward, runner's lunge. So full engagement in your legs here. Really try to stack that heel directly above your toes. Staying here, light on the hands. Slight dip in the hips, look forward. Open up your heart. And step towards the top. Forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up high, Tadasana. And hands towards the heart center, bring it in. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, forward fold. Lift halfway, inhale, big breath. Step your left leg back, runner's lunge. Still staying up off that knee. This time taking a twist, left hand plants down, reach your right arm high. Still opening up your heart here, feel freedom in your body. Plant your right hand back down. Plank pose, step back. Option to lower the knees down. Take your full chaturanga, lower towards the floor. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Take a big breath. And exhale, downward facing dog, press back. Reset, reestablish your pose. Reestablish your strength on the mat. Reach your left leg high towards the ceiling. Again, square off your hips. Try to dial those toes down. Then on your exhale, knee towards your nose, draw in. Kick back high, inhale. Two more times, exhale. Option to kiss your knee, give yourself some love. Inhale, kick back high. Last time, knee towards the nose, really connect. Kick back high, inhale. And step forward, runner's lunge. Setting up just exactly as we did on the right leg. Slight dip in the hips. Light on the hands, engage your legs. Step towards the front of your mat, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, all the way back down, forward fold. Halfway lift, lift your chest. Step your right leg back, runner's lunge. Right hand stays planted, taking a twist, left arm high. Keep engaging your legs. And back down, runner's lunge. Press back, plank pose. Chaturanga lower, really good bend. And then inhale, lift your chest high. Press back, child's pose. On your inhale, shift back forward for swan. Press your hips down, lift your chest high. And exhale, press back, child's pose. Tuck the toes, rise back downward facing dog. Starting to feel more warm in your body. We're gonna to start to build more heat now. Any time that you need rest, take it. Exactly in that child's pose that we were just in. Finding freedom in your practice to do whatever you want. Feet together at the back of your mat. Lift your right leg high. This time bend at your knee and open up your hip. Always feels nice to take some big circles, getting more into your hip joint. Freedom in both the physical body and in the emotional body. Lengthening your leg back high towards the ceiling. Big breath. This time hitting your right knee towards your right elbow. Draw it up as high as you can. Then inhale, kick it back high. Towards the opposite elbow, draw it across as much as you can. Inhale, kick it back high. Stepping forward, runner's lunge. So we've been here before, this time we're gonna add on. So engaging your legs as much as you possibly can, really press down into this front foot. Your next breath, inhale, rise your arms high for crescent pose. So seeing if you can build more fire by lifting your back heel higher, sinking down lower. If you wanna add that element of freedom on with a back bend, lift your chest high, look up. Hands down towards the ground, runner's lunge. Big breath, look up high, open up your heart. Drop your back knee down, half split. Trying to protect your knee by drawing your toes up towards the ceiling, lowering your heart down. So within elements of freedom, sometimes it doesn't mean always having an open and lifted heart. Also finding freedom by looking within. So staying here a couple more breaths, drawing your heart down towards the floor. Relax your head. That breath may be going and that's good. Acknowledge it, move deeper. Your next inhale, shift back forward, tuck the back toes, raise your back knee, and open up into a warrior two. So back foot 45, inhale the arms up, sink down deep into this right quad. So it should feel fire now into your legs, not just into the core, but all throughout your body. Charge up. Take your gaze directly over your middle finger. Solid gaze, move in. Remembering your intention for this class. Flip the palm, reverse your warrior, take it back, still sinking into your right quad. Feel the engagement. Then cartwheel the hands back down, runner's lunge, pivot the back heel high. Take the gaze forward, standing needle. Left leg reaches high towards the ceiling. Finding that element of freedom now in flight. Your hands can be down for support or trying to find some extra challenge by taking one hand to the leg or even both hands to the leg. If you're taking that balance challenge, really engage your core here. Engaging your core by shifting more of the weight into that right big toe. Acknowledging any shakes that may be happening because you're actually engaging your muscles, feel it. And release, forward fold. <sighs> Shaking your head, just moving around here, getting some fluidity back in, any freedom of movement that you wanna take. Ragdoll can be your option, hands around the elbows. I'm trying to restabilize your breath. You just did a lot of movement. So now coming back into that solid foundation.
Letting a nice sigh out through the mouth, releasing any heat. And slow down any movement that you've taken. Take the feet back together now and slowly as you can, rise all the way up to the top, reach the arms high, back bend here, look up. And hands towards heart center. Find balance, find ease. Inhale, reach high. Sink down chair pose, the second yogi's favorite position. <laughs> Plank and chair, always intense, always fire here. Shift the weight into the heels, charge up more into your glutes, more into your legs. Can you sink down a little bit lower for me? Still lifting your heart higher, fire and freedom. On the exhale, hands drop down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Step or jump back, chaturanga. Lowering all the way down on your exhale. Inhale, lift your chest high. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a couple moments here or a child's pose as your option. Again, finding equanimity. Trying not to always operate in that fire. Two more breaths. Observing the body from head to toe. How are you feeling? Always knowing that you can take a break whenever you need or charge up more when you need to. Drop the knees down towards the mat and hands towards the back of the hips for camel pose. Press the hips forward, look high. And exhale, child's pose, come back down. Staying here, taking your knees wide, elbows connect towards the mat, hands come towards the prayer position, top of the thumbs meets the top of the spine. If you want more stretch into your triceps, try to take the elbows more towards the front of the mat, find the length. Honoring yourself each step of the way as you move deeper into your practice. Slowly releasing the hands down, take them out wide at the outer edge of the mat. Shift back forward, swan pose, hip flexors drop down, inhale, open up the heart. Exhale, press back, child's pose. Tucking the toes, allow the hips to rise, downward facing dog. And we do have another leg, so let's go ahead and get to that. Feet together at the back of your mat, lift your left leg high. Bending at your knee, allow your hip to roll open. Taking a couple big circles as your option, especially if you're at a desk all day and you need some extra stretch in your joints, some more fluidity. Your next breath, re-straighten your leg, activate it by drawing the toes down. Draw your knee towards your left elbow, connect. Kick back high. Exhale towards your right elbow, activating the core. Kick back high, inhale. And step forward, runner's lunge. So fo first focusing on the legs, building strength there. And then slowly adding the arms for high crescent. Engaging your back leg. Can you get that slight bend out of your back knee? Power up more into your right leg. Reaching up high. Maybe adding the back bend on your inhale. Your exhale, drop the hands back down towards your runner's lunge. And then slowly dropping the knee down as well. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, straighten your front leg. Half split. So moving to your degree of freedom in this pose, always feeling free to slide the leg more out if you're feeling more flexible that day, but taking the ego out of the picture. What suits you today? Like get real with yourself, what feels good? Last two breaths.
Your next breath, inhale, slide back forward, runner's lunge, tuck the back toes, raise your back knee, engage. And opening up to find warrior two. So back foot spins 45 degrees, inhale, cartwheel the arms, and sink back down into your left leg. So giving the same mindful attention that you gave on your right leg, sink lower. Steady your gaze, then flip the palm, reach back, reverse your warrior, and cartwheel the hands down to frame your foot. Taking a slight look up towards the ceiling and standing needle, take your back leg high. So you may notice that one side feels completely different than the other. Try to be okay with that, release the judgment and move into feeling. Same option still on this side, to take both hands behind your leg. That extra challenge, wobbling is good, falling out is good. The chance to really practice that fire and freedom. And release forward fold. This time coming about hip width distance with your feet. Peace fingers around your big toes. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Allow your elbows to splay out wide. So trying to use that bicep strength and relax those shoulders down your back. Last two breaths. Any side to side movement with the head. And release the hands. Take your feet out wider this time and sink down into your yogi squat. If you friends have a block at home, place the block underneath the tailbone for extra support. And then try to eliminate that texting hunch that usually happens every single day with the roundedness in your spine. So instead, find freedom in your heart by taking your elbows more towards the top of your knees. Try not to compromise the length in your spine. Then hands towards the heart center. You can look down towards your hands, remembering your intention, or continue to look up towards the ceiling, finding that deeper opening into your heart. One more breath, and exhale, fold. If you had the block, go ahead and release, place it off towards the side. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rising all the way up high, keeping the legs exactly as they are. Interlace at the top, and then lean towards the right. Side body stretch. Go ahead and switch sides. And then all the way back towards the center, dropping your hands down towards your hips. Press your hips forward as much as you possibly can for your standing back bend. On your exhale, go ahead and release. Feet come together at the center of your mat. Lift halfway. Then engage your arms once again. So palms face down, slight bend at the knees. Your inhale, rise up, chair pose, sink down low. So trying to be playful with this chair. See if you can hover your right foot, still staying in chair. Then switch sides, it's kind of like a dance move, a yoga fun dance move. Sink down lower, back towards chair pose, as far as down as you can go. And exhale, fold, release the hands. Halfway lift, inhale, step back, plank pose. Staying here, lower down onto your forearms. See if you can smooth out your transition. Still shift the weight directly above your shoulders and elbows. Then press back to high plank. Promise we're not gonna do this for long. It's not yoga boot camp. So slowly lower it down, back to the forearms. And then release your hips for Sphinx pose. Again, finding that heart opener, that chest opener, even here. It's a more restorative version. So hands are gonna come down towards the mat and see if you can slightly pull your hips forward to open up your heart more. Take a breath, look high, and exhale, chin towards the chest, look low. Stay here, chin towards the chest, rolling over towards one side, and then moving towards the other side, back down towards the center line, and inhale, look back high. If you want more, come into a cobra pose. 
Pressing the hands underneath, rise the chest up. And press back child's pose. Going into a more of a back bend flow, we'll move back into camel and we'll incorporate some down dog too. So remember your intention and now try to draw it directly towards your heart. Cultivating it stronger with each breath. When you're ready, rise up into a tabletop position. And your exhale, press back into your cat pose. And inhale, look up high for cow pose. Downward facing dog, press to rise. Inhale, big breath. Exhale out. Drop the knees down, find camel pose. So we've been here before. Try to stack the knees directly above the hips, hands towards the hips. Press the hips forward, look high. Inhale, and exhale, tabletop position, cat pose, round through. Inhale, look forward, cow pose. Downward facing dog, exhale, press back. Drop the knees down, inhale, high camel, big breath, rise up. Exhale, cat pose, round through. One breath, one movement. Inhale, cow. Exhale, down dog, press back. Drop the knees, inhale, camel pose, rise up. Lengthen the breath, lengthen the spine. Exhale, cat pose, round through. Inhale, camel, or cow pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here. If you wanna get more playful, you can always wag your tail left and right. Then draw your feet back together at the very back of your mat. Reach the right leg high, bend at your knee, roll your hip open. Option is stay right here or find your flip dog. If you're shifting into flip dog, shift a little bit forward and then drop the right foot down, open up the heart, look high. Maybe spirit fingers if you feel playful. And then come back down into your three-legged down dog, reach back high. Plank pose, shift forward. You can keep that leg up. And then side plank, right foot down, right hand down, left arm high. Always option to modify by dropping your knee down towards the floor. Definitely doesn't compromise your fire at all. Big breaths. Reach bicep by the ear. Lengthen through your side body. Whatever variation of side plank pose you took, come back towards normal plank, towards the center. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, press your heart high. And exhale, downward facing dog, take the hips back. Recenter yourself, take the feet back together towards the back of your mat. Lift your left leg high this time, bend at your knee, roll your hip open. Staying right here or adding on extra fire by shifting forward, then finding freedom in your flip dog, press the heart high. Big breath. Three-legged dog, press it back up. Shift forward, plank pose. Side plank, left arm down, right arm high. Reaching up, staying right here, or dropping that bottom knee towards the floor to modify. Bicep by the ear, reach forward. Stretching the side body out. Then variation wherever you are, transition back towards plank pose. One more time, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart high, freedom in the chest. And exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Lion's breath in. Exhale out, mouth, let it go. Coming up high onto your tippy toes, lift the heels up. Exhale, drop the heels down. Again, inhale high, tippy toes. Exhale, heels down. Last time, inhale high, tippy toes. Stay right here, bend at the knees, look forward and jump up. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach up high, back bend. Hands towards the heart center, come back in. 
Reach the arms back up, sink down, chair pose. We've been here before, taking that little chair pose dance, hover the right foot. Then add on, straighten the right leg, engage your core here, bend at your knee, flex at your bottom foot and reach up high. Engaging the core still, if you wanna add on, you can kick your right leg forward and then sweep it back, crescent lunge. Staying here, one breath, open up warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior, take it back. And side angle pose, move in. So option to modify by dropping the left hand down or you can stay right here so that right uh, left elbow meets the inner left thigh line. But main thing is that we wanna focus on, we've been focusing on it all class. Open up your heart, look high. So if you're not finding freedom with that hand high, you can always drop it down towards your tailbone for support. Or take a half bind, drawing the hand behind the back body, opening up the heart more. One more breath. Rise up, warrior two. So the fire in your left leg, I know it, I feel it. I hope you do too. Sink lower if you don't. Reverse the warrior, come back. And cartwheel the hands down, plank pose. Chaturanga, move through. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Come up high onto the tippy toes. Heels drop down, exhale. Inhale, high tippy toes. Exhale, heels down. Last time, inhale up high. Stay with the heels up, bend more at the knees. Look forward with perseverance, jump forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach high. Big back bend, open up the heart. Hands towards the heart center, come back in. Sink back down, chair pose. I know we're moving, stay with me. Sink down low. Engage your left leg, slight bend, then straighten your le uh, right leg high. Keep the bend or straighten your left leg, engage the core. Swing back, crescent lunge. Big heart opener, inhale. Warrior two, open up. Sink down, reverse your warrior, take it back. Side angle pose, move in. So same options to modify by dropping your elbow down or continue to drop the hand down towards the mat. Main goal is opening up the heart. While you're here holding your poses, listen to your breath and know that you've created that fire. Breathe deeper. Rise back up, warrior two. Reverse your warrior, take it back. And cartwheel the hands down, plank pose. Lowering all the way down onto your belly. Relax, even if you wanna kerplop down. Once you're down on the ground, flip your palms so that they're face up and relax. Allow your heartbeat to hit the mat. And listen to the music that you're creating with your body. We won't be resting for long because the core resides as well in the back. So building fire into your back body, flip the palms so that they're face down, setting up for locust pose. Chin comes down towards the mat. Engage your legs and lift everything up, kind of like you're taking flight. Gaze comes a little bit forward, lengthening through your entire spine. Squeeze your legs, zip them up towards the center line. If you can, flex at your feet, engage. Fire, freedom. Breathe in, lift. And exhale, make your way back down towards the floor, switch cheeks. Flip the palms again so that they're face up. Relax. Finding both effort and ease in your practice. So 
So knowing you have the option to set up either in locus, which is what we just did, or coming into bow pose. If you're taking floor bow, bend at your knees, take your head down, windshield wiper the legs first, getting ready to kick back and press high. And then take your hands towards your ankles. If you have any rotator cuff issues or shoulder injuries, come back to Locust. If you're taking bow, come with me, press into the feet and rise your heart up. So squeeze back into center line. What usually happens is you wanna go out. So zip it back towards the center, fire up into your core, then press as much as you can up high and slowly release, come back down making a forearm pillow with your uh, hands and arms. Take the head down, windshield wiper the legs left and right, getting some release into your lower back. Breathe deep. And slowly release the legs. Press back into child's. For this variation, take your knees together. You just did a lot of work into your back body. And then take the hands so that they're towards the back of the mat, palms face up. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your lower back. And if you want, you can add on, moving from temple to temple to massage your forehead. You've come so far today in, in your practice. Try not to lose your intention now. Mindfully moving into fire, the heat, and also into freedom of letting go. Maybe it's clearer now what you need to let go of that actually blocks you from your fullest fiery potential. Taking one last camel pose before fully coming down onto the mat. Rise up one last time onto the knees. I'm gonna give you a couple variations here. So if you'd like to stick with the knees stacked over the hips, you can stay right here, keep pressing into the hips, looking high. Or if you want more of that hip flexor stretch, it's gonna feel like a swan pose. So knees wide, hip flexors are gonna feel it, toes together. Press the hands towards the back of your glutes. Take the heart high, relax the head back, and then slowly settle down. Take the hips towards the feet. Knees together, hands stacked, closing your eyes before you move fully down into your restoration poses. Noticing how your body feels right here and right now. Letting go of any judgment that may come up. And trying to turn off that monkey mind. The mind that kind of swirls around every single day, jumping from one thing to another. Attaching to different thoughts, when really there's no attachment needed. Taking one last breath, inhale in through the nose. Exhale, sigh through the mouth. I'm blinking the eyes and slowly moving to your seated forward fold, getting a hamstring stretch in. Just moving a little bit side to side to restabilize into your mat. Lift the arms high and exhale forward fold, mood, move in. If you wanna modify, I'll modify today by bending at your knees and just giving yourself a hug. You can stay right here taking the modification or continue with straight legs, toes back towards you.
looking inward for the next two more breaths. Your next breath, rise up. Take your legs out in front. Hands come towards the back of the mat. Either staying here for a more restorative variation of your heart opener, or adding on either into reverse tabletop to bend at your knees, press the hips high, open up the heart. Or if you wanna take a more fiery pose, legs are gonna come out straight for reverse plank. Continue to press the hips high, open up your chest. Big breath. And exhale, slowly lower the hips back down. Butterfly pose, feet together, knees wide. Slowly move your hips in. Let's have a little bit of fun today by flapping our wings. You can get creative with it, flapping harder or faster. And just lubricating the joints here with some fun movement. Once your hips are feeling pretty good, slow down the flapping, settle in, and then exhale, forward fold, chest down. Continue to relax your shoulders down your back. Rise all the way back up on your next breath. Close your knees together and take your hands underneath your feet, pull back your toes. Taking a seated rabbit pose. So allow the chin to come towards the chest and feel that stretch along your cervical spine towards the very top of your neck. If you'd like to take any side to side movement to get deeper into your neck, take it. And slowly release the feet. And you didn't think you were gonna get away without more core, right? We're going back into boat pose. So I said this class is all about fire and freedom. Try to stick with me this last few breaths Charging up into your fullest boat. Taking your arms high, lift up high, chest up. And lower down, low boat, hover, stretching position. Inhale, high boat, take it up. Low boat, hover. Inhale, high. Exhale, low. Inhale, up. Last time, low. Stay right here. Maybe click your heels together. Have fun with it and slowly lower down all the way to the ground. Taking a huge breath in, let out the drama, and exhale, let it go. We're not done yet. <laughs> Take your knees in towards your chest, big tight squeeze, and draw the legs up high. Place your hands down next towards your side body, palms face down, or if you have any lower back issues, Take care of yourself and place your hands underneath your spine, next towards your tailbone. Slowly lowering your legs down towards the ground, towards the hover, exhaling. And then inhale, zip it back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, slow, slow as you can, so muscle rather than momentum. Inhale, reach up high. Last time, exhale. And inhale, reach up high. Happy baby pose. Taking the feet to get our feet wide. You can either grab onto peace fingers, round your big toes, or take hands around the outside edges of your feet. Really trying to draw the knees down, drawing the tailbone down. Any option side to side, you can move and rock. Or even straighten both legs or one leg at a time. Freedom in movement. Taking your knees together, back toward your chest. Setting up for your very last back bend. So now that core is done, evening it out with a couple rounds of either bridge or wheel. If you wanna move into a more restorative variation, take Supta Baddha Konasana. So that's feet together, knees wide for restorative option. 
But if you're coming with me into bridge pose, feet down, knees high. So 12 o'clock position with the feet. Once you're ready, press firmly down into the feet. Engage your legs to lift up. Once you're up in bridge pose, if you want to expand your chest even more, interlace the hands behind your back, and then press the wrists into the mat below. So a lot of this, you should feel more into your legs rather than your lower back. Try not to compromise. One more breath to press higher, and then slowly lower down. Windshield wiping the legs, left and right. We'll take one more back bend today. So either bridge or wheel. I'll be demoing wheel, but you're more than welcome to take Supta Baddha Konasana, your restorative variation, bridge pose, or now wheel pose. For wheel, same exact thing as bridge, engage in the legs, pressing the feet down into the mat, knees high. But then take your hands so that the fingers are faced towards the front of your mat, elbows high. First come, lift up onto the top of the head. You can stay right here, still developing strength in your back bend. Or if you're ready, straighten the arms, press firm up into the mat. Option to walk the feet in, closer towards your hands, and then keep engaging into your legs. Find that heart opener through your arms, just relaxing the head, finding freedom there. Stay here. Your exhale slowly, safely lower down. Taking your knees back in toward your chest, big tight squeeze. Rounding the nose now to meet your knees and giving yourself a kiss for all the hard work you did today. Mwah, mwah, each knee. Rocking side to side, extra love. And slowly release the left leg long, keeping that right leg hugged in. Drawing the right leg across the body and right arm goes towards the side. So you can take your gaze towards, uh, looking towards your right hand, if your neck's feeling okay, or look up towards the ceiling. But just relaxing here, feeling the benefits of your practice. Letting go of any of the thoughts that come into your head and drawing back to the breath. And knowing that's a continual practice, this mindful recovery. Any thoughts that come in, they can still come in later, but it's mindfully your choice to let them go. Just like you did during class today. Mindfully moving into your poses, mindfully breathing. Come back towards the center, big hug back in both knees. Then drawing the right leg long, left leg comes across the body now. Same thing on this side, and modifying as needed because each side is gonna feel different. So gaze can be towards the left palm or towards the sky. Settling in for the next couple breaths. And moving back into center, draw your knees back in towards your chest. We'll end class today with some time in Supta Baddha Konasana. So if you've taken it earlier, moving back in, feet together, knees wide, then take one hand to your heart, and then the other towards the belly. Closing your eyes here, dropping your shoulders down your back. And I want you to feel the connection between your heart space and then the fire in your belly. And yes, fire can stimulate the digestion, but now think about the fire that you experience every day in your life. That fiery element that you need in order to move deeper into work, into relationships, 
And then finally, deeper into yourself. And then acknowledging that extra fire needed to move deeper into freedom. Typically, freedom doesn't happen without fire, without work. Experiencing work, experiencing effort to finally release into what freedom really looks like. So drawing big breaths in, back into your diaphragm, filling your breath up with air, and then exhaling, letting it go. Two more times, inhale, exhale, release. Finally, last breath. Sipping in every last bit of air that you can. Filling the breath all the way up to the top, big belly. Hold the breath. And exhale, release, sigh it out. Releasing into your Shavasana, whatever position that you wanna take. It can be on your back, on your belly. You can stay right where you are even in Supta Baddha Konasana for relaxing here and feeling the benefits of your practice. And knowing that complete freedom doesn't happen overnight. It takes continual work in the fire, moving step by step into your personal freedom. Continuing to relax here for as long as you need. Maybe for the next couple minutes or even the next hour. Taking time for yourself. And when you're ready, starting to move onto your side body into fetal pose. Rebirthing into your day. And sitting up into a comfortable and confident seat. Exactly when we began our class, the same thing. You can be knees together, cross-legged position. Then drawing your hands towards your heart, take your thumbs and plug them directly into your sternum where your heart is. Feeling the fire that you've created and the connection that you've created to deeper freedom and awareness. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bowing your head one last time, closing your eyes, moving back into your intention, repeating it softly with the inhale in and exhale out. Hands draw towards your brow. Thanking yourself for showing up today on your mat, giving back to you, and mindfully moving into your recovery. Thank you for joining me, and until next time, namaste.